Alright guys, Ash BFC here, and welcome back to Yakuza 2. So we are starting at chapter 11. The Iron Law. Alright, let's go meet up. さあ、行くかどうした昨日の夜今までのこと整理してたら嫌な予感がしてきてね嫌な予感ええ私が人言派の生き残りじゃないかと思ってどういうことだママの言っていたことから推測して私の両親が二十数年前登場会に殺されたとするなら両親は登場会に敵対していた人言派の人間って考えるのが自然じゃないお前も人言派の生き残りそう考えてもおかしくないでしょ村井に会いに行くのはやめるか自分の過去から逃げたくないTime's taking the lead, fair enough. Now we're about to leave this place now, so. Again, nice chance to grab the two pocket dishes which you'll need for an upcoming sub story. Otherwise, you ain't doing it. Yeah, that makes two of us. Fucking Shogi. So we're in a new town right now. Um, Shinseiko, I think it's. I don't know how to pronounce it. I can't pronounce anything Japanese, but. Yeah, it's only really small. If you look at the map. But I like it. There's not, there's not really anything to do, but I don't know, I just like it. And they never brought this place back, did they? In the fact, they completely cut it out of Kiwami 2. So. Oh well. You know, I can have a chat with some people. Restaurant there, we got an M store. If I just, while I'm in here, we'll, we'll, you can come back, we'll, we'll be coming back um, later on once you do actually leave, but I'll grab the, uh, the coin lockers. It's not that many of them, so we've got one inside the M store. Right here, that's number 40. Yep, 
In fact, actually, just across, if we just approach this couple here, trigger another sub story. Quite the uniform there, looks like a fucking ice lolly. We will, of course we will. Because uh, Sam is going to help us out. And while she's with us, we'll have a couple of chances. Uh, if you haven't already got the heat move, the uh, twin kicks, get it now. She does tend to grab quite a lot, so when she's grabbed, when you've got your heat full. You can do it. So let's just grab him there, actually. Let's finish him off. Oh. Like that, it's your twin kicks. I hope you do. All right, did not need to know that, lady. Sandpaper snatch over here. Oh, Jesus. Get away from this woman. Get the old lady's candy. Ugh. And we get 700 XP. So that is called, um, it's Woman's Tragedy, I think that one's called. There it is. Alright. Just down here as well, where we got the uh, lawn save point. It's another uh, coin locker. It's just here in the corner. Number twelve. Just another one right here as well. Six. Right, and right here we've got acu uh, an acupuncture place. You can use soft course, hard course, or adventure course. I think I think the soft and the hard heal you. I think. At least I think the hard one does anyway. But I want to go with adventure because 
Uh, there's a couple of things we can learn here, provided, number one, uh, you checked the cat, um, back in, um, Camrock Joe, which is behind the drugstore, I did quite a good few videos ago, but if you checked out the cat, we can learn something, and, uh, if, also, if you completed the side mission, try and hit me, back in Camrock Joe, which again was quite a while ago, and the, uh, your technique is at least level eight, um, you can learn something else. So we go adventure course. It's going to cost you a little bit as well. Three grand. Alright, remember the uh, Kamaki cat flip. That's for checking out the cat. It basically allows you to, uh, if you press X in time, it allows you to land on your feet rather than land on your arse when you get knocked down. So it's uh, pretty good. Right, we'll head back in again and do the adventure course for the other one. Again, another three grand. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Alright, the Kamaki not back. Something that's a defensive move. You can use to uh, knock back the enemy uh, if you. Is it press, uh, I think it's L1 and R1? Press them just as, uh, together as the enemy hits you, knock them back. You can view them all under um, your move list. Let's just have a look at, uh, yeah, so cat flip, yeah, see that allows you to land on your feet like that, kind of defies gravity, look at that, <laughs> and then knock back, yeah, R1, L1 at the same time the enemy attacks, and you knock him back, I'm very piss poor at getting the timing right for that, kind of easing some of the later games, alright, so those are two skills you can learn right there, alright, that's the progressive story, I need to talk to this guy, but we'll, we'll We'll come back to that. Right, we'll have another uh, locker key somewhere around here. It's on this street, I think. Where is it? I'm just gotta wait for the uh, the glint. I'm sure, it's on the street. Yeah, it's back there in front of them signs. Five. We also have one inside this uh, restaurant here. I think it's actually right where uh, she stood. Yeah, there we go. Number 16. Actually, right here. Another sub story. Oh, God, look at this guy. He's got a nosebleed and it won't stop. This is why you need the pocket tissues. Two of them. Annoying if you only have one. I do, if I actually have three, so you go. Okay, probably get yourself to a doctor, buddy. Anyway, for his troubles, we'll get a trendy iron umbrella. So 
and the sword back. Five hundred XP. All right, now with the uh, trendy iron umbrella, uses for another story just up here. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually buy the trendy. You can buy it, obviously, iron umbrellas. That one of them you'll get in um, one lock if you get the right key for it. But I'm not sure if the actual trend is only available from that guy right there. It might be, you know. So if that is the case, then you'll miss out on being able to do another sub story if you haven't got that. Uh, you don't have the uh, tissues for that fella. Anyway, that sub story is right in here in the car park. In fact, there's another uh, locker. Uh, key. Where is it? Somewhere around here. There it is. We're real uh, bastard to spot. It was Yakuza 3 where they started actually taking them off the ground and putting them like, up high on buildings and stuff. So you had to go into first person mode to see them. That was a pain in the ass. But anyway, look over in the corner. Look who it is. It's Granny White. What's she doing here? You see, remember once we finished um, all the sub stories back in camera show, she said she wanted a, a trendy iron umbrella, didn't she? And we just got it from that guy, so. There you go, Gran. Alright, the Lord Star Flare Fist. I think you hold triangle for that. Um, just double check it. Yeah, hold triangle. And you'll knock the enemy right on the face. I think it replaces the kick. So yeah, that's that right there. So anyway, those two sub we just did. Oh, The bloody nose. And, uh... Yeah, the... The White Lotus... Request one. I think, yeah, that's uh, that's just that's all the sub stories actually in this uh, chapter. It's only a very short chapter. Sorry, did I grab all the? Uh... No, I didn't. There's two more, I think. All the coin lockers. There's one over here somewhere. Where is it? Ah, it's down there. There's one right at the far end of the street. Here we go, it's number 17. And then there should be one right at the back there. There it is, next to the con. Come on. And that's number eight. There's actually two more left in this area, but uh, we can't get them until next time. I'm just going to head back to the save point and wrap up this video. Yeah, alright, so uh, that's it for this part here. Um, next time, more slightly finish off this chapter. Uh, as I said, it's uh, only very, very short. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.